is taking action for you. Some Detroiters say creepy, crawly guests are making themselves at home on city buses. It's <laughs> just thinking about it, right? But what is DDOT doing about those bed bug claims? 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaket tracks down the transportation director to make sure that problem doesn't fall through the cracks. Simon, what's the latest? Hey, Jeff and Glenda, you know, uh, bed bugs are something you definitely don't want to deal with when you're waiting for a bus, and it turns out this is not the first time DDOT has dealt with this. Take a good look at one ugly bug. You don't want sharing your bed or sitting next to you on a bus. Them things is pitiful. At the bus stop, some are speaking from experience. I've had them before, and I know they ain't no joke. No joke to the president of the DDOT Drivers Union either. He remembers back in the day. Have you seen this bug? Wow, it looks like a bed bug. Uh, yeah, we, we've seen him back in 2012. Well, it could be a real problem because if they have to take coaches off the road to fumigate them, it takes three to four days before they can put them back in service. Recently, during a city council meeting, someone spoke up about bed bugs, hitching a ride on a bus just like this. To get some answers, we called the DDOT director. Hi, this is Simon Shaket from 7 Action News. I'm calling to speak to someone about bed bugs. Not 20 minutes later, we were face to face with a man. At a bare minimum, uh, we have an extermination company that comes in every 90 days. Director Dan Dirks tells us when you're servicing a million people a month, some bed bugs can unexpectedly pop up, but they've got boots on the ground to deal with it. And pause too. The extermination company that we contract with uses Molly, the beagle who, uh, who searches out bed bugs. So while DDOT keeps an eye out, it wouldn't hurt for you to do the same. Even if bed bugs don't sink their teeth into you, their presence alone can really bite. Everything you have in your house, basically you have to throw it away if it's infested with them. Just getting an uh, exterminator out there is not going to do it. To, to be fair, Detroit is not alone in dealing with this. In fact, other cities across the country have also had bed bug issues, so the problem uh, is not unique to Detroit. Now, if you see bed bugs on a city bus, all you have to do is get the bus number, give it to DDOT, and they will take care of it right away. Live in Midtown, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News.